Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Abu Dhabi Space Debate. Abu Dhabi Space Debate is a great opportunity for us to discuss the important issues facing the incredible growth in this space activity and this space industry. The space has brought us together to think about the well-being of the Earth. Humanity has always been fascinated with the heavens. Throughout human history, humans have explored the unknown, discovered new worlds, pushed the limits of science and technology, and then pushed further. Taking on the challenges of human space exploration expands technology, creates new industries, and fosters peaceful relations with other nations. You need to be connected in your home, in your work, in your car, when you travel on an aircraft, when you be in the middle of the sea on a cruise, uh, in a oil and gas uh, rigs and wells in the middle of the desert, you always needs to be connected. So the idea started by first by Gil, Bill Gates when he started to launch satellites to provide internet from the sky. There are certain things you can only do from space. The James Webb Space Telescope, for example, uh, is looking back to the origins of our universe. Um, that can only be done outside the Earth's atmosphere because of the frequencies uh, that they're looking at. In addition to that, we use microgravity on the International Space Station every day to understand our own bodies and our own biology to give us insights into, the, into human medicine. And in addition to that, uh, it's a global perspective. We cannot get the data that we need for climate other than for, from space. You, you simply cannot measure the whole Earth just from the surface of the Earth or even from aircraft. Really, to get the perspective that we need to tr truly understand what's happening to our climate, it has to happen from space. Space is really important and that uh, we are uh, globally dependent uh, on, on space, which many people are not aware of, of that, that uh, we are dependent on the navigation, telecommunication, uh, and earth observation and the security and, and, and so on. When we prepare for typhoons, we have to mobilize satellite images to cover the swath of the typhoon, and that correlates with the size of the typhoon. So we used to measure typhoons by their impact, by in terms of scale, or hurricane scale or typhoon scale, but we can also measure them now in terms of the amount of data and computing that we can mobilize. This is a perspective that we'd like to bring, not just to our own government, but to the entire world. Spaceflight has enabled us to take a complete different view on our own planet. Um, it's clear that uh, the big challenges we have in the future in terms of climate, energy change, limited resources, can only be solved if we are pulling together. Humanity's overall functioning is directly affected by space technologies, which have an impact on safety and security as well. As space technology advances, it would be wise to explore and utilize the vast potential of the solar system and other planets. Exploring space is an investment in future generations. With now the Artemis missions, NASA will develop innovative technologies to explore more of the lunar surface than ever before. And all of this is in preparation for us to send humans to the planet Mars. I think that in the 60s was the time to, to be the first to be the first that launch satellites, that discover or, or go to the moon. And I think that now it's the time of to be in community. What happened after the PCs was the internet. And the internet, the internet society started in the early 90s. And you could argue today we are at a, at a point in time where really what is happening in space is the beginning of the true internet age of space. The first step is to create a national law. It regulates several things. One of uh, the corporations, it's some kind of alignment of the space laws. And this is the, let's say, probably one of the pillars, the common understanding about how can we coordinate ourselves in the future. Among the key development areas is hazard management and climate studies, national security and development, space education, research and development, space industry capacity building, and international cooperation. Many things in space are driven by fear and by greed, by war and by commerce. 
and we can't continue on that trend. It's, that's certainly not sustainable. Hawaii has a word called kuleana, which is, uh, it means conservatorship and stewardship. It means responsibility. And it's much less about the notion of ownership. So it's about what do we do to not become environmentalists, but what do we do to ensure that future generations have access peacefully so that we can participate together in this, this new domain. We are meant to do great things together. Exploration cannot and must not cease. Otherwise, we have deprived ourselves of what it means to be human. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.